Back in the islands. Set and away they go from the 1950 meter marker. Ballymain is right there. Arctic Tion with a good position shortly after the start. Savuti's going around them. Franco's got the green sleeves also. Good position then. Interferometer. Not a word is on the outside of runners. Racing about four or five lengths off the leader. High green is towards the inside. That's racing about five or six lengths off them. Then comes Big Sai. Nightlock is on the outside of runners. Further back in the field at this stage is Viking Red. Fangios towards the outside. Amora Dienta is racing about mid-division at this stage. As they move down now towards that region of the 1,200 metres and Savuti leads it. In second, Interferometer. Franco is near the rail. Not a word is on the outside, then Arctic Tion, followed by Air Salute. Amor Adiente is between the two of them, about four, five lengths off the lead. Then Big Sai, Bally Main, High Green's now being given the wake-up call. On the outside of that is Nightlock, and then comes Viking Red and Fangio. They're about 12, 13 lengths off the lead. As they move now to the region of the entrance to the straight, just over 600 to go, Savuti brings them in. Not a word second, then Franco. Behind that interferometer, Arctic Tion. Amor Ariente gets hooked out to the middle of the track with the white nose band, Bally Main. Viking Red behind that one there, trying to put in a claim, Big Sai. 300 to go, not a word, the leader. Bally Main, Amor Ariente. Big Sai's on the outside and towards the outside, Nightlock. Amor Ariente now and Bally Main, these are the two. And Bally Main takes it up, not a word, Big Sai's running on. But Bally Main will win, Bally Main has won it. Amor Ariente second, third place, maybe Big Sai, and then not a word. Number 10 is the winner, and that's Ballymain. And Ballymain comes home well, wins it by about three lens. And a recent maiden winner, so it's back to back. It's for Iman Moore, for the Moors. Warren Kennedy is the winning rider. Number 10 pays 8.40 the win. Toad favourite is second. Number 1, Amor Adiente. I think Big Sai might get third. That's number 9. Then not a word. Further back was Nightlock, Viking Red, Interferometer. And then came Franco, and further back in the field was High Green. And then came Fangio, Arctic Tion. We'll take a look at the head-on. Amor Adiente moves up. Not a word is right there. And now the yellow blinkers of Ballymain. And comes forward to hit the front. And Ballymain, that's the main aim, goes on to score and wins it, going away by about that two lengths or so. Tote favourite was number one until the running of the seventh race back to the studio. Well, if you included number 10, Bally Main, in your jackpots and pick six, well played here. Straight out the maidens, straight into the number one box. And uh, Daryl just telling me off here, he's got a bit of quality this horse, and he's certainly shown it this afternoon. It's taking a bit of time, the son of main aim, but uh, well done to both Daryl and Ivan Moore. Brett's on course to represent the owners as well, but uh, yeah, he's a progressive horse. He, he looks like he's certainly not going to retire a two-time winner. No, he's, he's always had a bit of quality, like you said. Um, he's taken a bit of time to come to hand, but uh, he's a he's a stayer, so they they do take a bit of time. And uh, yeah, he's turning into a lovely horse. Uh, well done to Mark and everyone, uh, all the other owners involved with him. You know, Mark's a great guy to have in the yard, and I'm glad that we could have another winner for him. Well done to Warren as well. He really rode a good race and. Uh, yeah, well done to the team, all the boys back at uh, the yard, they put in a lot of work and uh, without them it can't be possible, so well done to them. You have a lot of options with this horse because he, he seems versatile in 19.50 up to 3,000 metres. Yeah, it's, it's nice when you've got uh, options, it's helped. Uh, we didn't actually have a lot of races uh, in mind. This distance is a little bit short for him to be honest, but uh, I think his quality got him through today.
Well, yourself and, uh, of course, uh, Grandpa has done a fine job with this horse, and may you go from strength to strength. Well done, Daryl. Thanks very much. Well done to Daryl and Ivan Moore. Let's get Warren Kennedy in, and this is a bonus for Warren. As he, he mentioned when we chatted to him after his win on Kaladi, that anything else will be a bonus. But does this horse surprise you today? Yes, he did. You know, when a man wins a 2-4, you always got to worry a little bit. But just well done to Daryl and his connections. Now, he came in today. They all said get him out and try and get him in the race because I've noticed in a couple of races he does dwell and loses positions. He battles to keep up with him. But he worked very well today. Obviously, Daryl's been doing work with him at home. And, you know, I caught into position. I had one, the one kid was pulling back at me. I was out of my ground. But, you know, we went very slow and we quickened up going through the 800. And this was quickened up readily. You know, I thought I might be in trouble with, the, with him quickening up like that. But he quickened up really well. I had Armour Dente in my sights. And, you know, going through the 300, I had him called. He's won a good race out the maidens, were He's very good. I mean, like you alluded to, his form before that, he's run to some decent horses, you know, so, and his win today, he feels progressive, feels like he can go on and do some more wins. Well done. Nice double for you. Yes, thanks, Dees. Lovely. Let's get Brett in. He's uh, representing Mike, and well done to the Khalils, and of course, Ivan Moore got a share. Brett, the last time we chatted to you about when this horse won, you had high hopes. Yeah, we certainly did, Dees, and um, if you look at the form line, like you've just said, all those maidens have come out and they've done something special, so... Yeah, we were optimistic. And uh, this win, uh, what's it, uh, 1,950 metres, so it gives you a lot of options, as I mentioned to Daryl. Yeah, absolutely. We thought it was going to be a bit sharp today, but um, looking at way Warren rode this horse, and, and also a lot of credit also to Stewie for working this horse and also backing, believing the horse. So, you know, we are, we are a happy group of boys. Where's Mike today? Mike's at home, and I think he's going to keep on staying at home until this jinx breaks. Eh? Well, give him our best, Brett. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Thanks, Dees. Lovely. Well done to Mike McCobb, uh, Mr. Khalil, Ivan Moore, Daryl Moore, Warren Kennedy, and, of course, the breeder, Mr. Saudi, with the son of Maine Aim. If you caught this quartet, this should be a useful dividend. 10, 1, 9, and 12. That's the way they cross the line. Race number six.